Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods where we are continuing the transformation, the transmogrification, the moth-like caterpillaring change of Mod Max. Why? Because we are building a stunt car for the new Super Cheap Auto campaign that's being filmed soon in Queensland. This is just awesome. I'm really excited about it. Martin, how are you feeling about it? More pumped than I've ever been about a Nissan that wasn't a March Super Turbo. I, this car's awesome. I mean, like, we had muddies and stuff on it before, which sort of limited its use. Now, wide body, we're gonna put some mad suspension gear in it. We're gonna put some mad wheels and tires on it, which are on their way, and they should be here today. And we're style it. And we're gonna style it and just have some fun with it and make it look cool, and yeah, this, this is re really where the fun begins. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the extravaganza that is Mod Max. Freaking awesome. I would say this is probably one of my favorite cars that we've ever done on this show. Yep. Martin, what's the plan, bro? Well, what are we gonna do? When we went to the Fast and Furious car department in LA with Dennis McCarthy and we um, spoke to him about how they stunt car, they put LSs in stuff. Now the internet has mixed feelings about LSs going and stuff. This was done almost six years ago. The internet um, often doesn't know what it's talking about. Before the internet sort of got cranky about LS swaps, but what it does really well, it just makes power, reliably starts and goes. All we're gonna need to do on that engine is service it, new air filter, basic just health check stuff, fuel filter, things like that, which is great. So that's that side of things taken care of. What we haven't done yet is style the thing, make it look cool, get a bit creative with it, have a bit of fun with it. So we don't know what it's gonna look like yet. We've got a couple of ideas, a couple of techniques and things we're gonna try out. Um, but we have a bit of a blank canvas here, so all I really need to do is just sort of rub it back so anything we do to this sticks and then go to town. We're going to be experimenting, people, and you're coming along with us for the ride. Now, inside the car, we've already got good seats. Uh, it's got an AGI roll cage as well, which uh, when you're making a car that stunt people are going to be in, um, stunt, stunt people are crazy. Um, let's be honest, Marty and I have done, you know, we've done quite a bit of driving, um, whether it's been doing some skids or drag racing or on the track or whatever, but stunt dudes, like, because they not only have to drive cars and skid them, they've got to do all sorts of stunts. Like, they have to do a whole stunt curriculum, which is fighting and falling and all sorts of crazy stuff. But they, um, I've been passengering when you had a stunt double in the HQ Holden. Yes and I had to go in the passenger seat because the helicopter shots might see me through the side. Uh, and, um, and, and it was it was frightening, like it was changing underpants stuff. Like they are yeah. just, um, they're finely honed machines of driving extravagance. They took out a bridge, they removed a bridge. Yes. So that it was a giant hole into like a river, which was a couple of meters drop. Yep. And then they had to do a handbrake up to that. Yep. In the old, and then um, and they also jumped over it in some other cars, like built a jump and then jump over. It. Anyway, the point is, so inside the car, um, it's already got a roll cage from AGI, great company, and they've been supporting the show for ages. So thank you very much. Now the wide body is on, and it's time to style it up. We're going to be servicing it today. We don't have a lot of time, so you're thinking to yourself, why are you talking so much shit? I don't know. No, I don't know. Let's do it. I don't know why. I'm going to whiz Let's it. Let's go. Where's my whizzer? Today it is all about styling to get the new wide body panels blended into the existing Mod Max custom one of a kind spray can paint job. We're going to sand back anything that's too smooth and clean it so anything we apply to the car actually sticks. Alright, so the process I'm doing is kind of similar to what you do if you're actually painting this car properly which is you've got to sort of rub this all back with sandpaper. I started with 80 grit just because the Panels, I guess, so I kept in someone's garage for ages, had sticky tape on them, and the residue on there was really sort of biting in. So I took that off, and then I whizzed it down with 320, and then this is even finer just by hand to get into these curves. Now, because we are doing, you know, stuff we can do in our garage, rattle can, stuff like that, I just want to make sure the paint actually sticks. It doesn't matter if this isn't perfectly smooth. I don't need to put primer on or high build or anything like that and rub it back, um, but process is kind of similar. So once I've got a nice blank canvas, wipe all this down, clear all the dust off, and then start putting some color on it. I'm gonna start with a basic satin or matte black, just as our base, and then we'll go from there and see what happens. Meanwhile, what I'm doing over here is I have this almighty huge shop fingers. We don't actually sell these, this was custom made. It was custom made, um, and we took this to Germany with us when we did our episode buying the world's cheapest uh, GTI that we then took to Worthesy and drove around Slovenia and stuff, it was awesome. Um, to give this bonnet a little bit of an update, 
you can still see the um, logo that they used from Fury Road on there. But I'm basically going to find somewhere to lay this on there and then I'm going to cover it in a bit of paint, give it a little bit more of a colour. We're kind of going for kind of a black, red and brown, like rusty kind of coloured theme. Um, so I'm going to find somewhere to put that on. Then I'm going to tip some paint on it, get a bit crazy, uh, and then pull that off and then probably use a torch to burn some of that paint to kind of brown it up. That's the plan. I don't know what it's going to look like, so we're going to find out together. All the best cars have purpose. And while this build could stay frozen in time in its existing style, by updating it, we're breathing new life into it. This means it can be driven, drifted and thrashed well into the future. We're sticking with our black, but going less of the end of the world theme and going more for the wider, sleeker and lower look. These giant chop fingers should look excellent from above. Now normally when you're applying graphics like this you want to spray the panel so it's wet first and that gives you some manoeuvrability so you can actually move it around. In this case it's just acting as a stencil so it doesn't actually matter if it's kind of got any, any air bubbles and stuff like that in it because it's literally just keeping the original colour underneath, add some paint, then pull it off. So Plus the bonnet's got a couple of giant holes in it so normally you would not be dealing with that. Yeah, that's true. While the bonnet is being masked up with a giant sticker, I'm using the more traditional masking tape and paper method and rubbing down the panels with wax and grease remover ready for paint. We have a huge range of merch that we ship directly from here in Sydney, Australia. And as well as our normal stickers, we also have a range of black ones for those of you that are looking for a bit more of a stealth or a kind of darker, more aggressive look for your car. So you can get like a large Mighty Car Mods sticker, which is great for windscreens and stuff like that. Uh, we've got black chop stickers and you can get them in Katakana as well for the JDM fans out there. We also have smaller versions of those. Plus, you can also get your chopped fingers in black as well. So there's a link down in the description. You can check them out. Now I'm going to use some more of these for my stencil and what I'm thinking is these big fingers and then right there to bounce it up, chopped katakana, that is going to look freaking awesome. I'm laying down a base of black to cover up the primer grey gel coat that comes on the panels. I'll then build from there with a variety of different colours to give the panels some texture. It's a good idea to paint around the arches and smaller areas first so you can do a big even coat on the larger areas and prevent runs. And speaking of runs, I'm adding a whole lot of red to this bonnet for some mad paint effects, which I'll set on fire shortly. the weathered look of the original paint job, I'm using the same colours that we used back then and I'm also adding a bunch of dust that I swept off the workshop floor to put in the paint while it's still wet. In keeping with the original build, I'll be painting with fire. artistic vision has been educed 
from us. It has been brought out. The front bonnet is out there drying in the sun. Uh, Martin has done a fantastic job of matching these panels. There's still gonna be a couple little design elements going on with those. This one here, you're gonna find out a little bit later what's happening to that one because something special is happening with that. It's gonna be a, you know how people do a feature wall? It's like that, but not a wall. So I tried to colour match the car and I rang up a paint shop and said, I'd like to colour match Mod Max and they just laughed at me. Colour matching this er, initial thing was actually quite challenging because we did this. Um, I don't actually remember what we used, but it was spray cans. But also it's weathered. It's got like six years of weathering happening. So getting this to match that and look good is sort of, it's sort of working, but we're going to mess with this a little bit more. But I'm really happy with how the wide body looks. I just think it's going to look great, especially when it's low. Big wheels on it looking amazing. So we've got a few other parts that are still on their way that still haven't arrived. So we've got that to do. But in the meantime, we are going to service this thing. We've got drifty bits coming, people. Drifty bits, uh, coilovers, wheels, tyres, they should be here soon. And then full service mm -hmm. and then full send. <laughs> hey, hey! Gummy Bears is an excellent TV show. They bounce here and there and everywhere with their gummy berry juice. The LS1 V8 in this car has copped a flogging from the first time we turned the key. It's bashed the limiter way more times than it should and still works perfectly. To keep it working perfectly, we're going to change the fluids and give it a full service. You did an excellent job on this bonnet, man. I love it. It's Martin, like... and you did an excellent job on colour matching those panels. We got a wide body. I love it. I'm just not confident that our bonnet pin down there near you is going to line up still with this. Probably not. Now, That's this fine. one, that one's okay. But does, yeah, man. Does yours line up? Yeah, well, close enough. We just, we've got movement in this panel, see? But that, oh, yeah. Sick. And then we just need some hinges on it. Dude, that looks great. That does look good. It's really good. It's like it's sort of oh, there we go. some bits about it are more subtle, but that's kind of what we're going for, you know. Like it's got a, it's a bit more sleek and wide-bodied and yes, lower and awesome. But that's that's everything we can do with the parts that we've got here. So we're just going to wait for our uh, next shipment of stuff to arrive, which will let us continue on this journey of unmodifying and remodifying Mod Max. Excellent. It's hard for me to remember what it looked like before. Yeah. You know, because it's. I guess that's the thing. Like S15s have got such a classic. I reckon I think, they've, I think they look amazing. I think they're kind of timeless in a way. And so letting that original kind of design shine through again is awesome. But with the extra fatness of wide body. Oh, yeah, man. It's going to make, when it's, when it's down on the ground, it has wheels on it and it's low, it's going to just... Yeah, it's going to be bellissimo. great. All right, well, fingers crossed we get our delivery soon, Martin. <laughs> 